Hello, pink freaks and future pink freaks. How is everybody doing today? So today we're gonna have a strength, but a different type of strength. There's gonna be a little game going on. So what we need to do is today, you need to grab a dumbbell and this dumbbell, you cannot put it down in all 60 minutes. I see Chas, good morning. I see someone else is logging in here on, on Instagram. So we do not put the dumbbell down. Whatever we do, you drink water, you need to hold the dumbbell. We're gonna be switching constantly between the right and left arm, but you do not put the dumbbell down. If you're gonna put the dumbbell down, the penalty is 10 push-ups. So now maybe you wanna do more push-ups. We've already done so many uh, push-ups over the 24 hour period. So I'm not sure if I'm willing to do a push-up right now. So 10 push-ups will be the penalty if you're gonna realize that you put the dumbbell down. So you take your coat off, you gotta hold the dumbbell. I don't know, I hope that I'm not gonna get so hot in a way that I don't, that I feel uncomfortable in this. If I do, I gotta figure it out. So this is the game, we do not put the dumbbells down today. Now, the only way what you can do as far as switching the dumbbells. So if something is too light, you grab one and then you switch to the other, but there is no moment of that you don't have any dumbbells, got it? So the instructions are here. Let's do some stretching. We're gonna do some shoulder rotation and warm up for your upper body. And again, who is with me? Good morning. So before we're gonna start, we gotta really get those shoulders going. My chest is still super sore. So let's do a shoulder rotations right from the socket, right here, forward. Yes, oh, you're gonna feel good. And back, Whew. nice big shoulder rotations here. So you see, I have a bench set up. I'm gonna be doing some chest press, some incline, some shoulder presses, oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, it's going to be fun. So you might want a dumbbell that it's gonna work in all these different ways for your chest press, for your squats, for your bed over rolls, because the only way to switch and take a rest is to switch to the other arm, that's it. All right, in and out. So on the out, really stretch. Crisscross criss -cross your arms, fully extend them. Oh yeah, oh, feels awesome. Nice. Now, arms go up and down, just this direction now. Yes. Oh yeah. Deep breath in and exhale. Inhale and exhale through your nose, through your lips. Now we're gonna pump the squats. We're gonna pump the squats and then we're gonna do a quad stretch, quad stretch. So, different warm up today. Just body weight, as you see. I didn't use the stretch strap, I didn't use the foam roller, but you can always do this right before the session. Let's do this. Breathe out. Now we're gonna do a squat and a knee hop. Knee hop, club that knee. Squat, bring that shin in, 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 up. Yes, pull it in, breathe out. Pull that knee up towards your chest. Full 60 minutes today. Oh, we are going to have some Fun, we're coming with the intensity. Yes. <sighs> Lifting some weights, even though we feel sore, right? The cardio class yesterday, hard class. If you haven't done it, make sure you do it. You do it on the replay. You guys should have gotten the email. Yes, the Peak Freaks getting the email. The Peak Freaks have a portal, the Peak Freaks have a program on the application. Okay, we're gonna loosen up the hips. So if you're a person that needs the workouts, workout schedule at the palm of your hand, send me a message and the other direction and we're gonna hook you up with the application. Application is awesome. You have all different ways of doing the workouts. Good. Now we're gonna push the hips side to side. So left hand on the left hip, you're gonna push to the right. Right hand on your right hip, Push to the left. You literally wanted to push that hip. And that's what it's stretching, this. But if you're gonna go like this, you're not gonna feel as much as you push that. They go on the other side and push, yes. 
and push. Yes, this is good. This is good warm up for your hips. Let's reach down towards the floor, loosen up your lower back. Right here, touch the toes. If you cannot touch them, it's okay. Listen, they're gonna, you're gonna elongate. You're gonna make yourself a little bit longer through the exercises, through the stretches. That's normal. Breathe up. And again, reach towards the floor. That's why we do this stretch, right? Active stretch, we wanna stay longer. Now we're gonna go side to side, alternating toe touches. Just across. Shoulder to shoulder, straight straight line. Now don't do ballistic movements, don't go like this, just one reach and stand up straight. You wanna just, each time you wanna go down, you wanna go a little bit deeper, right? Breathe out, inhale and exhale, good. See, you might feel already better. Yes, and time. Now, if you feel comfortable doing this, Without any support, that's fine. If your knees bother you, I would say, I'm gonna move this bench a little bit. I would say support yourself on a bench and go side to side, just like this. You don't need to go as low as I am. Only if you have healthy legs, I would say you can do this, and healthy knees, side to side. So I'm shifting that weight, stretching the inner thighs, we wanted to stretch the inner thighs. We wanted to make sure that everything is nice and stretched out, that we're ready to roll. Okay, stand up straight. We're gonna lean forward, 45 degree angle, and we're just gonna reach those arms to the, to the ear level, and bring them down, and again. Now, look how much core, core is working here. You're gonna feel this in your abs. Good, and again. Stand up straight. Now we're gonna do a letter W, squeezing the shoulder blades together. You ready? Bend over, and W, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Arms are straight, look, just like that. And again, loosen them down, loose, 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 and lift them and squeeze them. Good, just two, three seconds. And loose, and again. Nice, one more. Good job. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch, active. So we're gonna step forward and we're gonna go backwards, ready? One leg is forward, one knee is bent. Reach towards your toes, stand up straight, open up your chest, step up. Look, just like this, touch and step back, I'm gonna show you sideways. Reach, open up your chest, reach, open up your chest. So one leg is straight, one knee is bent. Okay, grab your bands, and we're just gonna pump those shoulders a little bit here. You've seen me doing these before. These are installed to the side. Just pump them, just a few seconds, just to get those shoulders going a little bit, and then the other arm. So. Hinging, bringing the door closed, closing the door. Just like that. Now we're gonna switch, opening the door, boom, like this. So the whole goal is to keep that elbow close to you. Everybody has a different range of motion. Switch, open up, oh yeah, 90. Switch, step forward, 90. So 90 degrees, opening up the chest, bringing it down, forearm down, 90 degrees with the shoulder, elbow in line with the shoulder, should not move, there should be no motion here, nice and stiff, so pretty much this is the motion, watch me, that's it, and you gotta pay attention to this one, okay? 90, shoulders back, now this one stretches the chest really nice, breathe out, oh yeah, it's working really good, Good, now we're gonna switch to your right arm. Left leg forward, we're gonna pump and rotate like we're punching. If you've done my boxing session, you know what's cross. That's what I want you to do. A little faster motion here, and slowly switch. Always control the bends. You are in control of the bends, not the bends controlling you. Right leg forward, left leg is back. Hands are up, and we're gonna turn and rotate right here. Just a few 
few time. It doesn't matter if it's six and eight on the other. If we just going with the motion. Now look, we rowing, but we rotating. So my left elbow comes across like I would block. Breathe out. Accent on breathing out. And here. I see you guys logging in. How is everybody doing today? We're doing a nice strength training today. Now you can send me in the invite to be with me here on the Instagram. So if you guys have two devices, always hook them up. Watch me on Instagram. Peak Freaks watching me on our platform right here. And we can connect, I can see, so send me the invite. Now guys, listen up. Again, I'm gonna tell you the rules. The dumbbells does not hit the ground today. In a way that you do not put the dumbbell down. You hold the dumbbell for 60 minutes. If you drink water, you hold the dumbbell. If you go to the bathroom, you go, you hold the dumbbell. I don't care about you holding the dumbbell. You can only switch the dumbbells. One is down, one is up. That's the only thing that you can do with playing a game. Penalty is 10 push-ups if you're gonna drop the dumbbell. Get a dumbbell that's gonna serve you for most of the time. You can always switch it. I'm gonna start with later, and we're gonna build it up as we go. Let's hit it. We did a good warm up. <clears throat> so on the bench or on the floor, you don't have a bench, you're gonna do this on the floor. <clears throat> Knees would be bent in this scenario if you're doing on the floor. If you're on the bench, obviously, you're gonna keep them on the ground. On the floor, you would keep them like this and you're just gonna pump that arm. Now we're gonna start with single arm, guys. That's everything is single today. So creating imbalance right here, squeezing your ads and your glutes. 90 degrees, watch that chest, not above your head. This is about your chest. Do I feel sore after 24 hour push up challenge? Hell yeah. But this did not stop me from working out. We did that workout already on Monday, I did double because I was teaching the boxing class, as you can see here on these platforms. <clears throat> we did strength training, of course, we, did, we were smart about it, and we did not do no chest. Look, I'm lifting, I'm switching my dumbbell. Then your right arm recovers, got it? Let's go. Do I feel it? Yes, I'm probably not gonna go heavier today. There is no point. There's gonna be a lot of repetition just to stretch that chest. <sighs> the soreness is beyond, guys. This is not gonna go away till probably if we lucky over the weekend. If we lucky, but because we're working out constantly, the soreness might stay a little bit longer. <sighs> this is like deep to the bone. Oh yeah, guys, we are pumping. A few more, abs tight, glutes tight, because it's a single dumbbell, you gotta find the balance in your core, like you gotta find the balance in your life. Let's get up, switch your arm, right arm. We're gonna pump this squat right here so that dumbbell is above your right shoulder. You do not rest the dumbbell, we're gonna start with the squats, oh yeah. Those rounds will be nice and long, I tell you. Breathe out. And again, how we squatting? We are pushing our hips back. So for those of you who are new to this, set up a bench behind you, keep those knees in line with your ankles, push your hips back, and start squatting. You can use TRX as well. Oh yeah, and time. Now look, I, do I, can I put the dumbbell like this? Yes, but I do not put it on the floor. I'm gonna switch to my other hand. And we're gonna do again, front squat on a single arm. Let's do this. This is gonna be fun. Now listen, we gotta do this every day, right? Yes, we gotta do this every day. You can have a workout seven days a week planned for you directly on that platform on the application. It's really super cool. Chas, how are you doing? Who else is with me? You guys are squatting. Eric, nice. Eric is here too. 
you guys are here. Write it down. Where are you coming from? Keep on going, everybody. Keep on going. This is a workout. A workout. Full 60 minutes. I wonder who's going to hit the penalty today. Who's going to dump that dumbbell? Better not be me. I'm not doing no push-ups. Time. Okay. Your left arm is <laughs> recovering. Right arm got to work. Bend over roll. This is a challenge for all of us. Let's do this. So what we holding here, 45 degree angle, right? And we're just gonna roll that dumbbell in. I'm gonna show you both ways. So here's the, I know my big freaks, what they want, they're trying to achieve. Some of them, they're trying to stay in shape and continuously just working out and have a challenge. Some of the big freaks want to lose weight, right? Some, some want to try to stay sane. But what is that for you guys? What is that that you're looking for? What is that that you want? You are on here, so you want something. You came in to search for something. Time, stand up straight. You gotta stand up straight, you gotta switch that dumbbell. We're playing the game today. Go. Oh yeah, 45 degree angle, you gotta squeeze your glutes. That's this. I gotta point it because some people don't know where the glutes are. I hope you know. Row it. Elbow tucked in. Squeeze. 45, at side, glutes tight, back is straight. We do not round like this, guys, no. If you need to reset, reset yourself. Good. Time. We're gonna get some water. I'm here. I have my dumbbell. I'm holding the dumbbell. I'm gonna drink water. Mm-hmm. Yes. We're gonna go on to incline. On the bench right here. If you do not have a bench, I'm holding, I have to screw this, make sure that it's Good. That's not going anywhere. Listen, if you do not have a bench, you can go on a stability ball on an incline or do a close grip press on the floor if you do not have a bench. All right, ready? Starting with your right arm, right arm right here. Lay down and pump that chest right here. Above the chest. Not above the head. You don't need to hold your hand on top of your chest. I'm just touching it because it's sore as hell. Let's go. Nice and strong. I'm sure most of you showing up here you want to stay in shape, you want to look good, you want to feel great. Ah, switch your arms. Oh, it's going to be a fun session. I'm already feeling it. And we have how much, how much more to go? How long? All right, incline left. Let's go. Who's hitting the ground because you put the dumbbell down? Who got soft on me and went down on the floor already? Because they had to put the dumbbell down. I don't know. Rest it on your shoulder. Do something. <sighs> so I said, this might be just light dumbbell <laughs> throughout the whole session. <sighs> because it's non-stop work, grip and everything, <sighs> and time. Do not rest it anyway, unless it's your leg, shoulder. You can hold it like this. You can hold it like this, like a baby dumbbell. Yes, deadlift. Right, right arm, deadlift. How am I gonna do the deadlift? Like a suitcase deadlift, right? So we're gonna go, look. The dumbbell goes directly on the side of your leg, but you do not go down like this. You have to stay straight. 
you have to stay straight because it's dumbbell. The weight is on one side. So go down and come up. And again. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Keep on going, everybody. We are going. We are going. Go, go, go. Go, I hear you guys. I see you. Nobody's stopping. We are deadlifting on your right. Oh yeah. Staying straight. Look, this is how my body looks like. Right here. One more. Good. Switch your hands. So it's a double the deadlift, right? Shoulders back, chest is out, good position. And lifting. Stay straight with this section. Don't lean to one side. That's the counterbalance that you gotta do. Push your hips back. Now some people, a lot of people cannot figure out the deadlift, right? So how would you do a good deadlift? Stay a foot away from the wall. And when you hit the wall, right here, you're gonna let your butt goes back. You're gonna hit the wall and you're gonna lean against the wall and then you're gonna stand up straight. But it's literally a foot away. Cannot be farther, because you're not gonna feel good about it. And that's you're gonna feel like the hamstrings and the glutes are working perfectly, okay? I'm pretending that I have a number on my right hand. That's what helps me balance. We do variety of sessions, right? Why well, we do such a variety of sessions from strength to cardio to boost your resting metabolic rate and switch. We are on the right thing right here. Listen, we're going to go down on the floor in a high plank position. We're going to roll. That's the only way that we're going to do this. Stay in a high plank position, everybody. Renegade roll in a high plank position. Feet are wide. We are going. Roll it. To boost your resting metabolic rate. But why would you want it to boost your metabolism? Right? Why? So, in a state of not working out, relaxation, you can burn more calories. That's the whole idea. That your body is like a machine to burn more calories. Get up, get up, switch your dumbbell. Why do we do this? Because if a state of relaxation, for instance, when you don't work out, you have a day of break, your body is like a furnace. It's going to be burning, releasing the energy, and plus, by doing... Pressing, pressing, left arm, 90. 
degree, guys. I want military press, not military, 90 degrees, regular press right here. Knees are slightly bent. Yes, you see how I'm holding that dumbbell? I'm not going lazy here. 90. So now you know why we're doing such a variety of high intensity session, why people change their life completely. They look, their mindset is because of these sessions. You wanted to build the lean muscle. That's the only way to look toned and lean. All right, listen, we going with right leg, right arm, reverse lunge. So the dumbbell will be along the side right here. We're gonna step back. We're gonna step back. I'm gonna tilt the camera for my pick fix just a little bit. I think you guys are good. I just wanna make sure that everybody seeing nicely here. Okay, so right leg, how are you doing reverse lunge? Stepping back at 90, the whole left leg is holding that weight. Again, look, I'm gonna feel this in my ball with my glutes, but my left leg, my right leg is stepping back on the ball of that foot. Both legs hitting 90 degrees. I am not shifting that weight. I am just staying straight, shoulders back, chest is out, the dumbbell is hanging alongside. And the right leg is so easy in a way that I can quickly step back in to the place. Now guys, listen. The workout is a challenge because we're playing a game with a single dumbbell. But I need to challenge you all who are listening to me now, who are playing this message. Guys, challenge yourself. What can you do to get better in life? What can you do to have a better, uh, a better physique, better mindset, better nutrition? Life. It's an endless university. Let's switch. If you're gonna treat your life as an endless, endless way of learning, you will never stay the same. And that's how you should look into this. Not limiting yourself, not thinking, oh, I finished my education, I, am, I don't need to study, I don't need to learn anything. Well, you won't because Especially now with everything that is going on, you need to take your time to learn. You need to, I'm sure a lot of you have to change a lot of things like we did. A lot of people have to change the way how they do their business, how they run their business. Like look, the whole world is flipped. So we got to flip too. We as humans got to adjust and adapt and and change. There is no way that we can live the same way as we were living before, guys. Absolutely no way. So, I am challenging you today, all of you, to really think, what is that that you can do to feel amazing? What is that that you can improve in your life to feel amazing? Because all of us can. Time. Right on. I'm gonna remove that jacket. It's gonna be interesting, I'm getting hot. I always start cold, and I always know that this jacket has to come off. Woo, ready? Shoulders back, chest is up. Shoulders back, chest is up. Pump that bicep. And this is a one thing with me that I absolutely can't stand, being hot. It used to did not bother me, but if I am hot, the clothes are coming off. <laughs> I can't be working out when I'm sweating and I'm hot. I'm hot enough to keep that. So that's one thing that I've realized over the years. It used to did not bother me, but now, uh, stripping down. Pump that bicep, shoulders back, chest is out. Your arm should be on fire right now. I don't know what I was thinking. <sighs> I know that you guys are working out with me, but you guys on the other platform, I'm not sure. My big freaks are pumping. Shoulders back, chest is out, go. Shoulders back, chest is out, knees are slightly bent. Gotta stay nice and loose here. Again. Breathe, breathe. 
Who's hitting the push-up? Who dropped the dumbbell? Even to open that door, I was carrying the dumbbell. You gotta do the same thing when nobody is watching. That's the that's the pure. That's the pure congruency and really living your life the way when nobody is watching, you do the same thing. Dumbbell in your right hand. Let's sip some water. Let's figure this out. How you can shut down. Let me know if you've been taking off your clothes in a way that you got hot and you need to figure this out. How are you taking the clothes off with the dumbbell in your hand? So look, it's amazing how you have to figure things out when you are pressure. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna hold it like this. Look, you can figure this stuff out. It's pretty cool. Beads coming off. Better dumbbell don't drop. I made it. Almost there. Dumbbell stay with me. Ha ha ha. The watch will not come off. We're not gonna be wasting time. Drink some water, right arm. You can switch the arm, by the way. Switch the arm if you're drinking water, I don't care. How are the pig feet doing? Who is working out with us? All right, back to the top. So flat. You ready? But we're gonna start with the left arm this round. Okay, left arm. Go, go, go. Left arm, count the reps, at least 20. Normal weight is about 30 to 35 on a heavy chest press for me each arm. But right now, I am doing 15. And my arms are sore, I can feel it already. Stay balanced here. You gotta stay balanced. Ah! Pump it. Oh yeah. And time. Get up, switch your arms, right arm right now. We, I started from the weaker side. That's my left. Ready? Go, the same amount, try to squeeze the same amount. Now I'm giving you an amount. Almost there, halfway through, eye line. Now head, chest, chest. Now guys, listen. You want to go to the next level? Join the live, join the application, send me a message, we're gonna get you hooked up. Different programs available, bootcamp boxing, bootcamp only, strength training, boxing only as well, training boxing as well only. For those of you that want boxing strictly, however, we always suggest to do both because in a boxing session, boxing is cardio. Yes, we add elements of boot camp, but you gotta lift, you gotta lift weights. You have to have a weight-bearing exercises. Time, get up, left arm, squat. So you're not doing this because that's deadlift. The dumbbells have the dumbbell has to be up. Okay? The dumbbell has to be up. And because we're doing single one. The whole goal is not to hold it in both of your hands. However, if you feel that you're gonna drop and give up, hold with both hands. You have my permission. You have my permission. <laughs> permission granted. Oh yeah. Well, we gotta pump it. Now we're gonna get into that momentum. We know how the exercise is going. We just gotta hit and go a little faster. Switch. This is a lot of repetition. Think about it. Left arm, right arm, go. You can even go ahead of me, I don't know. Because if you know exercises, 
that we are doing right now. Maybe you're going to go ahead. Sit back. Don't push your knees forward. And again, thank you guys for all these donations for the big brothers, big sisters during the 24 hour push up challenge. Bend over row, left arm starts. The link is still available. You can still donate money. Every, every dollar counts. Bend over row, 90. Left arm is sunny. Almost there. Squeeze. Control it. Stand up straight. I'm going to switch the arm. You guys know the game. You guys know the game today. Shoulders back, chest is out. And listen, so many men, women, well, I think women almost more. Guys seems like a lot of times he will have a little bit better belief in themselves. But the girls ask me, you know, I'm, I'm over 40. Well, they are similar age than me. I'm 44. And they say, I can get better. I can look better. I don't think that I can look. Listen, I look better after two kids than I looked when I was 20. And before kids. So, we age, we look, we taste better like the, the wine tastes better when it's aged, right? We look better as we age. Actually, that's true, I think. You have more wisdom more experiences, more lifting weight, more pounds you lifted through your life. Stand up straight, of course you're gonna look better. And more knowledge about your nutrition. Left arm. Thank God you press. Woohoo, left arm. Do not put it down. Okay. I hope you guys have that true virtue that I was talking about and you not just say, ah, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna do what she's asking me. Hell no, I am gonna do whatever I want. Well, here comes the pain. Aren't you gonna feel bad about this? That you actually did something that you're not supposed to be doing? That's one thing. Second thing is, the whole idea for, is for the challenge. The workout's gonna be much harder when switch. Go, go right away. And you gotta listen to your coach. You gotta trust your coach, first of all. Where there is no trust in the coach, in the community, in the program, there's not gonna be any results, but I know my big freaks trusting the process, trusting the tools, trusting the coach. They know that it's gonna work. Uh, but what about you? Are you fully committed? Are you gonna commit yourself to change? Time, get up, because most people look, if you are where you are, and you always think, oh, it's always the same, oh, it's always the same, it's never, it's never different. You know why? There's a simple answer for this. You have not changed, you have not implemented any change, you have not searched for the solutions, and that's why it's exactly the same. So, if you're gonna, the question comes, you wanna change? You wanna change, you better do things differently. If you don't want to change, you can just stay where you are. <sighs> the same like nutrition supplements, think about it. This goes in the whole area of your life. Remember about your deadlift. How are you going to push the deadlift, right? Squeeze the arm. This is all work here. <sighs> People ask questions, they wanted to know the answer. We gave them the answer. But a lot of people will go for a short time. No, 
That's not such a thing as short distance. It's a marathon for life. So you gotta learn the habit and implement the habit and keep on going. I will never get up, give up the shakes. I'm gonna be a 90 year old, old granny, drinking the shakes, enjoying Herbalife tea, doing my aloe. Hell yeah. Because I want to look good for myself, for my kids, for my family. I want to feel good and I need to have a good nutrition. I need to take care of my body and you should too. So once you learn something, once something you see that it's working, time, left on, renegade roll. Guys, you need to stick to it. But then it's also another thing. Let me tell you, this is like a whole book I can write about this. People start the program, let's go, renegade roll, feet are right. Go, lift, left arm, pump it. Try not to, try not to dump that dumbbell on the floor. You're pretty much above the ground with the dumbbell rolling. Ah, ah, get up, and then squat cross, switch. Go, go, roll it, roll it. I'm not placing the dumbbell on the ground. Uh, this is a ton, ton of tension in your quads, hamstrings, glutes, everything. Abs. Time. Get up. Overhead press. Left arm. So, left arm 90. People start. They have good intentions. You probably have that too. Good intention. You want it so bad. You want it. You're ready. You're all fired up. You're so 100% committed. You go. First obstacle comes, or maybe not even. You did it because you feel motivated. You felt motivated for a week, for two, for three. Switch. And then the obstacle comes. So instead of saying, you know what, I'm just gonna cross over that obstacle, I'm gonna figure it out, I'm gonna go around it, it's gonna get better, this is how it goes. That's how it like this. You just crumble under pressure and you give up, you drop your goop habits, you stop about, stop with everything, whatever you've been doing, you've been working so hard on. Go, go, go. And then, Switch. Reverse lunge left. You get mad at yourself. Mad at the world. Everybody, you're angry. You're resentful. Because you realize you made so many mistakes, but then you blame the outside world for it. You blame the products. You blame the program. You blame the husband. You blame the wife. You blame the cousin. You blame everybody. No. Blame yourself, it's on you. It's on you. And I, once you're gonna understand and say, you know what, I made a mistake, I gotta go again, but let me m m learn from this mistake that I cannot do this again, that I cannot do this to myself again, to go through a roller coaster like this. This is unhealthy for me. I gotta understand that this is not good for me. And just with like, compassionate tone and understanding, just approaching this so you can start in a different way. In a way, switch, that you understand that there will be hardships, that there will be obstacles, that there will be stuff that uh, <clears throat> you might fail temporarily and pick up, but not failing completely, that you start stopping something that was good for you, you're starting in a good direction. Guys, this is easy, but obviously common sense is not always common practice. It happens to everybody. But you know what? The whole idea is that's what I'm talking about. It's that learning process, that understanding. Once you've done it, something like this, to not do it again. In this line of business that we are in, the fitness, the nutrition, this industry, it's a common thing 
constantly seen that time, left arm bicep, that people go through effect yo yos with the workouts, with the nutrition, and instead of understanding this thing going on maybe for 10, for 20, for 30 years, for 40 years, that you wasted your life on it, that you no longer can do it, they go over again. They get, get on that roller coaster and they let the roller coaster take them wherever it goes, up and down, instead of saying, you know what? I have my control of how I act, my attitude, my feelings, my nutrition, and I can do this. Switch your arms. Shoulders back, chest is up. Guys, I'm challenging you today. Whoever's been doing this for a long time, so now it's the time to face the mirror and say, you know what? We are starting different today. You and me. Me, just you in the mirror. <laughs> not me and you, me and you too. You guys can get set up for the applications, get the live workouts. Go, 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 lift. Try not to shift yourself too much forward, back. Oh yeah. Pump, pump, pump. Again, time. Water break. Switch your dumbbell. Hold it in the other hand. Nobody never thinks. We, we talk about death in our family. A lot of times we just discuss some certain things. Why? Because all of us one day will die and you don't want to be on the deathbed and thinking, I wish my life was different. I wish I had a better nutrition. I wish I had better life. I wish I looked better. I wish I had more time with my kids. I wish, I wish, I wish. No, the time is now. So the time is only now. This is what we have right now. So since we have the time right now, we're going to start with right arm. That's why I left you hold it in your left arm. We're going to go crisscross. Ready for this one? Pay attention. Stay with me. Chest press, right. Go. <clears throat> gotta stay close attention, pay close attention to everything. We're going. Chest press, right. Crisscross applesauce. Squeeze, I feel it in my ass. Pump it, pump it. Strong arm, strong shoulder. Time. Get up, get up. Left arm. Squat. That's how I told you, crisscross. Stay with me. Stay with me. Squatting. Go, go, go. Instagram, there's like a black dot in the center of my screen. When the phone broke, I don't know, three, four years ago, this is our second phone. I'm trying to stay, I should be staying away from, excuse me, the dot. It's always gonna be there. As long as you see the exercise, this is good. Come on, Eric, Chas, who else is there? You guys will be replying that message, that whole workout time. Right arm, bend over, row. Whew. Ready? Go. Stay straight. We're still here. Oh, nice 20. Left arm. We're gonna do chest press right now. We're gonna repeat those three. 
in the sequence, alternating crisscross. Left arm. Ready? Go. Go. We switch the order purposely each round. We didn't put the dumbbells down yet. Whoa, the floor like renegade. It was really not placing a small rowing, jumping up to a standing position. And time, get up, get up. Dumbbell up, right arm, squat. Now you know how it goes. And then left arm roll right here. That bicep, that shoulder is working. Few more. Bend over, roll. Then we're gonna start with the right, right? Bend over, go. Squeeze. Oh yeah, stand up. Incline. Right. Good work, everybody. Good work. Come on. Go, go, go. Chest. Right on. Almost there. Remember, left arm deadlift coming up. Left arm, left arm, get up, get up, don't drop the dumbbell. Deadlift, deadlift. How are we on playing the game? Stay straight. Pretend that you have a dumbbell on the other side. Renegade roll. Right. Coming up. Remember, the initial weight is on the ground, but then after you are staying in a high plank position, three points support. Turn. Right arm. Get down in the squat thrust. Feet are wide. Ah, go, row it without dropping. Stable. Time, get up. Left arm. Woo. Left arm. Incline. Going. Left arm incline. Good on time. Come on, come on, pump it. This whole round is our. Final round. Switch, but you gotta do it well. Deadlift. Lean back. Lean forward. The upper body goes forward, the lower body goes back. Squeeze. Yes. Tight. Left arm squat thrust. Left arm row. Go. White feet. 
support. Throw it. Right shoulder, right shoulder, 90. How are you guys liking that workout? Are you making noises at home, cursing me out? Ah. Stay straight. Switch. Left arm, reverse lunge, left and left, left and left, oh yeah, look what a nice round, first right arm was leading, second left arm was leading, third we did crisscross, Look how fun. That's why these sessions are not boring. You never know what's coming. You never know what's coming with me. Switch. Right arm. Bicep curl. Shoulders back, chest is up. And you know what? I love it. Creation. Yes. Creativity. And then so many times I would. Who are you talking to? Both men is here. Ah! The ball freak. It's not. So many times I will put this session, and that's how it works, like with this one. I'm like, the lifting is so cool, it's fun. I have to spice it up. First of all, maybe we're gonna do the jumps. And I'll say, eh, no, we're not gonna be jumping. Now, what's coming now? Left arm now, you see it? Crisscross, applesauce, left, right, left, left, overhead. Why did you just say crisscross applesauce? Yeah. No, not allowed to say Indian style anymore. It's offensive to call it Indian Is style. Is crisscross applesauce bad too? It's Indian style. I don't know. It's offensive to people who have apple trees, I guess. I don't know. I learned this from the children's school. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's another one. It's a really good one coming up. Just one more. One more. Look. Right here. Now, wide arm, it, it, it reverse lunge, right arm. Look, we're almost there, right? We're almost there. So I didn't finish. So, then the creative idea comes to place and goes into the first mold, the second and the third. Pretty cool how it works. When you want to uh, bring <clears throat> quality quality of the workout. So everything comes down to love. When you work, when you love what you do, you just love it and your mind is letting you create those things. All right. <clears throat> right arm, right leg. Now, left arm, left arm bicep curl. Let's do this big freaks. Shoulders back, chest is out. Left, right, left. We did it. Guys, this was fantastic. Now, you know how to stretch. I want you to stretch after. Stretch, stretch, stretch after, okay? Three, two, one. Time. Listen. Now, now you can put the dumbbell down because you did the workout. Congratulations, everybody. Clap it. Clap it. Clap it. High five. Already had to put my dumbbell down. My arms are so sore. <laughs> push up. Push up. Push up penalty. Listen, this is a very specific workout. Very specific. And you should. Do a push-up if you fail, if you screw up, if you put the dumbbell down. That's no question about it. So, follow the lead. I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> Thank you so much, coach. We'll replay again this afternoon. Rock.
today. Awesome. Have a fantastic day. You guys are awesome. Remember, love yourself. Love yourself. You guys are awesome. I will talk to you guys later. No excuses.